everybody welcome to the wall dog way i'm jessica and today's video is going to be our second grade rhythm and plan for how to get it all in so when i shared our curriculum choices which will be linked up here for you guys i got a ton of questions about how are you going to do all of this stuff that you chose well the first thing is we're not we're not going to do all of it in its entirety i promise you it won't get done at least not from start to finish every lesson but i do have a plan for how i'm going to get the majority of it in so i'm going to share that with you guys today but this is one of those things that might be a little bit better to see than for me to explain. So while I'm going to try to explain it to the best of my ability, you might want to hit that subscribe and that bell notification so that you can see it in action when I post a day in the life as soon as possible. So we haven't actually started our school year yet, but as soon as we start it, I will do my best to get a day in the life as soon as we work out the kinks and show you guys how this works in real time. So the first thing I want to show you is our caddy because this is going to be an essential part of how my whole plan works. This is just a galvanized caddy. It has three compartments in the front. We keep our color pencils. We keep our scrunch maps, dice, bookmarks, all of those extras in here. Pens, highlighters, pencils, our special feather pen. And then in the back, we keep the things we're going to be doing every single day. So in here is our task list as well as our Evan Moore daily map. So these are the two things that will live in here, our daily task list and our daily Evan Moore math practice for second grade. So this is what I came up with for Emily's task list for her to be able to check off. I was inspired by the spiral notebook method. I believe I saw it at Sarah McKenzie. I will link that up here if I can find it. And I love the idea of it. I love the idea of giving my child tech check boxes to check off every day and kind of an idea of what we would be doing. But even though I know it only takes about five minutes, I knew if it was one more thing added to my plate, it wasn't going to get done and it would fall through the cracks within a matter of weeks. So I came up with this because it's something I don't have to change and it pretty much stays the same. My plan is to laminate it. I just didn't laminate it because I didn't want you guys to have an extra glare and we'll use dry erase markers on it. So the beginning of every day will be morning chores. That includes things like making her bed, brushing her teeth and hair and getting dressed. Next, we'll be doing morning basket, which coincides with breakfast for us. Yes, it's something we'll be doing together, but it's on here knowing so she knows that it comes next and can check it off. After morning basket, we will be doing arithmetic. Now, if this is your first video with me, you're probably thinking, what the heck is arithmetic? This year, we're doing a Harry Potter theme with Waldock Wizards and Wands, and all of our classes have a Harry Potter name. So arithmetic is our math. So we will be doing a math loop. Now this loop does not have to go in order. It's going to be a self choice loop and it includes things as a chapter of life of Fred, a lesson in teaching textbooks, Osborne lift the flap with the corresponding activity book and play a game. I know what you're thinking. Well, duh, she's going to pick play a game every day. Yeah, she probably would. So I have a plan for that. The plan is that she's going to cross off which one she picks. So let's say on day one, she does pick play a game, which she probably will. That one gets crossed off with the dry erase marker, which means on day two, she has these three left. So let's say on day two, she picks Life of Fred. It then gets crossed off, leaving teaching textbooks and Usborne. So let's say day three, she picks teaching textbooks. So on day four, she's gonna do Usborne. Once they're all completed, we erase them and we start over. So she has control over how that loop runs. She can do that in any order she wants. She can pick and choose, but it's basically still a loop. It just happens to be one that she has choice over. When we're done with arithmetic, we will go into what I'm calling our large loop. This loop has six things within it, and each of these six loops has three things within that loop. Each of those include the Evan Moore daily math practice that I showed you. That's within each loop, so every one of those has that. It includes a different language arts for each one, and then it includes one of the Waldock Wizards and Wands courses or Passport to More Adventures. Now, Waldock Wizards and Wands, if you watch that video up here, was written in the sense that each one of these courses is supposed to be a six-week unit study. And that is really how I wanted to do it. I still think that's a genius way to do it. But Emily really wanted to do classes like they do at Hogwarts because she's seen one of the, or two of the movies and she wanted to like change classes and do it the way they do it. Like she's seen that they, you know, don't do one class for six weeks. So instead of doing six weeks of one course, we're going to spread it out to where we're doing one course every day and we're just going to spread it out for the whole year. So each of these loops has that reflected in it. And I'm going to show you more about that in a minute. Next, she has to read for 15 minutes. Now this doesn't necessarily have to be next. It just needs to be done throughout the day. 
So if she has already read to me for some point, like maybe during morning basket she read, that can be checked off. If she waits and wants to read later, it's, as long as reading gets done, I don't really care where it gets done. I just put it there so it didn't get lost. The next thing we have is our afternoon activities. Now this is something we try really hard to wait for daddy to get home to do with us because we love having him do these with us. And I'm also gonna tell you, I might have a thing for alliteration. So Mondays is mail time Monday, which means we will be opening either one of our wonderful letters that we subscribe to or a subscription box to do as a family. For instance, maybe we open Universal Yums or we read our charm post letter with our atlases and our maps and you know maybe pick a recipe from there or something that could be small something small or something big depending on the time we have tuesday is our tea time tuesday so we will grab a stack of poetry books and some tea and a special snack and enjoy that together wednesday is our nature walk wednesday now we live in a very wooded nature area anyway so that could be as simple as walking around the block or going half a mile down the road to one of the state or national parks near us. Thursday is Think and Tinker Thursday. So that is going to include our science experiments, which will be potions from Waldock Wizards and Wands because it's the only one not featured up here. Or the Tinker part of it is STEM challenges. So I have the year of STEM or STEM all year from Brooke Brown, Teach Outside the Box, as well as some of her stem bins and some other stem kits like the Kiwi Co. So that's where those will come in. That will be kind of our science, you know, experiment slash stem day. And then Friday is our fine art Friday. So on Fridays, we will either do a project together or we will go a town near us does a art walk every, not every, once a month. So every first Friday of the month. So we could also go enjoy that as well. Okay, so about that big loop that I told you about. First of all, you can probably see that that is what's housed right here. Each loop has its own magazine holder and it's color coded as well because, well, I like color. And I know that eventually I'll be like, okay, it's red day and she'll just go grab the red one and it'll be easier for her. So I already told you that there are six loops and kind of what is in every loop. I'm going to show you each one of those magazine boxes and what's in them. But I also wanted to let you know that I am going to cap our loop time. So I'm going to cap our loop time at an hour. So that is the most, unless she really wants to keep going, our loop time will not exceed an hour. So whatever we get done in that hour is it. And then the next time we get back to that loop, we'll just pick up where we left off. I'm not trying to get an entire lesson done or you know, a week's worth of work, whatever we get done is what we get done. Like I'm not trying to kill us. We'll just come back to it the next time. And each loop is one day, like one day. That's it. I'm not trying to get multiple loops done. Yes. I know that that means that we're not going to get them all done in one week and that's fine with me. We will just keep circling back around until we've gotten them all and then we'll start over and we'll just keep going on like that. Loop one includes that Evan Moore daily math that I told you about enchantment and alchemy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. So we would just pull this off of the shelf. And I would probably do this the night before. So the night before, I'll probably come in here, pull this off, take this out, and put it in that caddy. So in here, you can see that we have our enchantment, which is our grammar galaxy. And we also have our alchemy student notebook, as well as the required read from Waldock Wizards and Wands. So I would just pull all of this out the night before, Put it in the caddy and then that caddy would be ready for us to do school anywhere so we could go do it on the couch downstairs in the homeschool room we could take it outside it would be really easy to go anywhere with it because everything we're going to need for that day is in that caddy and ready to go so loop two is going to include that daily math again and then it also includes our jot it down or free write notebook so this is where we'll be making sure that we're writing stories. And then it's astronomy from Waldock Wizards and Wands. So also in here is the required book for Waldock Wizards and Wands astronomy. Loop three is spells, which for us happens to be explode the code. And then it also includes herbology so I have the required read from Waldock Wizards and Wands Herbology, and then I also have our herb fairy book, as well as some of the coloring books from the Wildcraft story.
Loot four is Charms, which is the copy work from Wallach Wizards and Wands, as well as Magical Creatures. So I have the required books from Magical Creatures in here and the Myth Match as a supplement. Loop 5 includes the incantations, which is the writing projects from Waldock Wizards and Wands, as well as Muggle Studies. And so I have our required read for Muggle Studies in here as well. And then Loop 6 is going to be Passport to More Adventures. So it's the only one that only has like one thing in it because Passport to More Adventures has its own copy work built in as well as numerous other projects. So it didn't need a language arts on its own. So in here I have the book, the first book, and that'll change out as we're done. I have the teacher's manual and I have the student notebook. Now the other thing I wanted to point out to you guys that I did is you can see here that each magazine holder has a color, so it's purple. Everything that in that box has a tiny purple sticker that corresponds. I don't know if you can see that. Everything. So that's the teacher's manual and here's the student notebook. So let's say for whatever reason, two loops get left out on the homeschool table. It will be really, really easy for me to know exactly what goes in which magazine holder without having to even think. I won't have to revert to my loops. I want to look at the you know, paper to see where it goes. I will just go, oh, purple goes in purple. It'll be thoughtless and easy. Basically, this is my way of putting my homeschool on autopilot for the year. Yes, I will still leave plenty of room for game school days. I will still leave plenty of room for deep dives. When those things come up, we will just stop, dive in, enjoy them, and then when they're done, we will pick right back up where we left off and we'll just keep trucking along. So this way it's on autopilot. I don't have to think about it. Every resource I need is in here. I know exactly where it is. I know exactly what to grab. And we just keep slowly looping through all of those things. And then by the end of the year, we will probably have a really, really good portion, if not all of it and everything done anyway. And so we will have accomplished whatever we wanted to accomplish. But again, my goal is never to complete the curriculum. My goal is always to meet the goals that I set out for language arts and math. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link that up here for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful for you. If not, stay tuned for that day in life when you can see it in action and maybe that will make more sense to you. And if you have any questions, let me know and I will be um, as transparent and as helpful as I can in answering them. Like I said, this is one of those things that was kind of hard to like type out and hopefully seeing it was helpful for you. Mm -hmm.